Hello YouTube, um, it's been a while since I wrote any applications, but I made this small little program for Windows uh, that allows you to search public records for people's names uh, in the United States and also allows you to trace domain names and allows you to um, reverse look up phone numbers if they're listed of course. Um, I downloaded the program, I uploaded it to my website and this is the program I play. It's basically just a big web browser but with built-in features uh, such as the people finder, the domain tracer, and the reverse lookup. Um, I'm going to type in a name, any name just to show you how it works. Let's look for John Doe. Uh, first name John, last name Doe. And let's select a source. Uh, where do we want to start searching? Now the odds are you'll find exactly who you want to find um, if you use all these providers. I'm going to select Wiki World Book and I'm going to hit search. And what it's going to do is it's going to search Wiki World Book for me. Uh, and it's going to tell me if there's any people by the name of John Doe, where they live, um, whether I can contact them. And if I can't find it on Wiki World Book, I can find it on 123people.com. Uh, everything is pretty much built in, you know. I use this a lot at work where I have to keep tracing people um, to find out whether they're giving me the real address or phone number. And using this program, I'm using absolutely free sources uh, to be able to trace anyone I want. You see for John Doe, which is obviously a fake name, I got several address matches and several phone number matches. Um, I included approximately 12 providers, uh, Raiderus, Anywho, uh, you name it, I got it. So it, it's pretty cool um, to be able to, to have this tool if you want to find people uh, or just for personal use. I, I don't know what someone could use this for, but I just figured I'd make it and push it out there. Um, let's see, anywho.com, searching for John Doe, and it found a couple of John Doe's. Believe it or not, there is a person out there named John Doe. <laughs> His address and phone number, it is funny. Um, next thing I want to show you guys is a domain tracing utility. Let's say I want to look at who owns a website. I want to contact them for whatever reason. Let's see who owns www. Mm, let's look at google.com just for the heck of it. You would click on trace domain and you would get the record of the website right here. Who the owners are, uh, where the owners are located, their phone number. I mean, it's a really nice tool. Um, www. Uh, beautyspa.com let's say I don't even know what I'm searching for I'm just showing you random examples uh, what it does is it just finds you who the owner of the domain is and it gives you full contact information for the person so that's pretty cool and it's powered by network solutions and the next tab is reverse phone lookup if you were to put in a phone number um, it has to be a landline and it has to be listed. If it's unlisted, you can't find it, but most numbers are listed. If I was to put in, uh, what number do I see here? The owner for this, beautyspot.com, 727-447-9594. Uh, All right, 9594. Search. And it's looking, but it says invalid phone number. Why? Because I'm missing a digit. All right, well, you get the point. If you put in any, any phone number, area code, uh, and the rest of the number, and you do a search, um, you'll be able to find it invalid. Again, I don't have any live examples to show you guys, but you'll be able to find just about any uh, landline that is registered. So if someone calls you and you put in the number in this little program, if they're listed, you'll get their address and name. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it uses absolutely all free public um, means of finding information. Um, you can go back, just like a little browser. I mean, there's nothing crazy here. Uh, you can actually save and print what you're looking at, and you can add it to your favorites, uh, so you can look at it in the future. And that's my little program. Um, I called it iSnoop. It's just, uh, you know, me messing around. Uh, but if you guys find any use for it, by all means, have fun. Um, it's going to be hosted on my server, dangerstudio.com, uh, at dangerstudio.com forward slash iSnoop. Um, hope you guys like it. If not, it is what it is. Um, 
just me playing around with my old uh, programming skills. This was created in Visual Basic 6.0 uh, for use with Windows. And I hope you guys find it useful. Thank you very much, and have a great evening. Bye-bye.